Well, these cards don't walk out for whatever reason, guys. But we have got Xavi Simmons, 95, make your mark. This is very, very interesting because I actually think his team of the season has better playstyle pluses. But let's put him into a team and let's review him. For cheap, reliable and fast FC24 coins for team of the season, make sure you go to lootbar.gg. Lootbar.gg currently offers you the 5% tax cover, a refund guarantee, 5% bonus for free and bonuses on your coins. They also have a 24-7 customer support team. So if you are struggling, you will be able to get that sorted very quickly as well as incredible reviews. So you know you can trust them. If you do want coins for team of the season, make sure to check out lootbar.gg and use code VIPER for 8% off all of your orders. The link to lootbar.gg is down in the description, so go and check it out. Okay then, guys. So, 89, 88, 87, and 86 rated squads are for this Simmons. He's high, high work rates, five-star skills, four-star weak foot, five foot, ten. In terms of play styles, he has got dead ball plus, which, in my opinion, is very, very mid. He's got ticky tacker and whip pass. He's also got that chip shot up there, but nobody cares about that. First touch, flare, Travella plus, quick step, technical plus, and rapid plus. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty mid card in terms of playstyle pluses, in my opinion. Now, he will make his debut for uh, Netherlands 100%, plus chemistry he will gain for that, which is pretty awesome from EA. For attacks and midfielders, player achieves two goals slash assists. Probably do expect him to do that as well. And then the player makes five appearances. So, that would mean that... Netherlands have to get to the quarterfinals for this man to get upgraded again. So it's not the easiest, but it's not also that hard either. He played cam right wing and left wing, which is okay for alternates. And his in-games are absolutely crazy good if we're being completely and utterly honest. Really good pace and a good pace split as well. You want acceleration over sprint speed. He's got 99 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. His shooting is good, probably does need a boost for his shot power and long shots, but his finishing at 97 is really good. His attack position at 93 is decent. 90 shot power and 91 long shots is very, very nice as well. Volleys and penalties really, really do not matter on this game. He's got 93 vision, 90 crossing, 96 free kick accuracy, 94 short pass, 93 long pass, and 92 for his curve. Dribbling wise, he's okay. He lacks reactions and composure, but he's got great agility and balance, 98 and 95 respectively. 94 for both ball control and dribbling. And then also 91 for the reactions and composure, which in my opinion is a little bit on the low side for this stage of the game. Defensively, he's okay as well. Good interceptions. Ken actually doesn't matter. Okay defensive awareness and stand tackle. So he really does suit that right centre mid row in the 4-3-2-1. But also his attacking stats are so good that you kind of want to play him a bit more advanced than that. So we're going to do that. We're going to play him a bit more advanced than the, the right centre mid roll. He's got 85 jumping, 98 stamina, which is good to see, 82 strength, and 98 for his aggression. I actually think, guys, the chem soul is relatively easy for this card. You know, the reactions are an issue on him. So I'm actually going to go for a maestro. Now, with the maestro applied, 99 reactions, 99 dribbling, maxed out for free kick accuracy, 97 vision, 98 short pass, 99 long pass, 98 shot power, and 99 long shots. You will also notice as well, guys, that the team of the season, I believe, had long ball pass plus. This card doesn't even have long ball silver, which is a little bit annoying. But we are still going to review him. It's a 4-3-2-1 that we're going to be playing him in. And he's going to be the right centre forward on just stay forward. Let's get into a few games and see what you can do. Okay, then, guys, here we go. First game with Xavi Simmons. Now, the reason that I'm playing him a bit higher advanced than what I usually say, you know, about these kind of players, they, they make really good right centre mids in a 4-3-2-1 is because of that right there. The ability to um, actually win the ball back higher up the pitch is going to be quite interesting to test out with this card. Wow, that was a one hell of a sprint boost from this guy. Oh, who is that? Dabinia. Oh, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I should be worried. Maybe I should be worried. Oh, I'm, I'm now worried. Oh, what a save. What a save. Get it into Simmons. Here we go. Right. Let's drive into the space. He's got the, the quick step and the rapid plus combination. Nice. Okay, let's try and drive into that space as well, the sprint boost. Doesn't have the strength for it. That is the problem that I always had with his TOTS card, is he always felt so, so, so weak. Wow, he's just managed to ride that tack. Wow. Wow, okay. He feels crazy, 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 crazy good in terms of dribbling, as you'd probably expect for the Simmons. Don't know what that was all about, but here we go with Javi again. Down the line here, this guy's moving the keeper all over the shot. This guy's a sweat, isn't he? 
Oh, he does feel really techy, guys. It's one of them cards that, like, feels insanely techy, that, like, really uniquely techy, because, you know, not a lot of the players on this game can dribble the way this card dribbles already. I can, t I can tell you that straight away. Now, he doesn't have ping pass. That ball inside there to Kane was really nice. We will give him the penalty as well, even though he's only got 80 pens. Top bins. Go on, Javi. Oh, yeah. 1 0. Nice. And he's got a red card as well. We might be getting out of this game quite quickly here. That guy did leave in the end, dudes. Um, I didn't think he was going to, but he decided to in the end. Now, a bit more to talk about with this Javi Simmons. If you've got his team of the season as a red and you've champions cornered him, yeah, I have just said that. This card absolutely will not. You just won't need this card. As I say, the, the dribbling on, on this one feels considerably better than the team of the season. Like, it actually does. He feels insanely good dribbling-wise. And I actually do quite like his play styles in terms of, you know, the technical mix with the rapid. I don't care for dead ball, really. And Travella is... It is what it is, you know? It's one of them ones. Oh, my God. What I have to say, though, guys, is this man's dribbling is a considerable amount better than his team of the season. Other than that, it's not that big a difference. Of course, you've got the five-star skills on this one. And for me personally, in that situation right there, guys, if I get that position with the 93 team of the season, I'm scoring. And the reason I'm scoring there is because of the Tiki Taka Plus. This card not having the Tiki Taka Plus is really quite annoying as it is arguably one of, if not the best play style on FC24, in my opinion. So what I would say is don't bother with this card if you've got the, the 93 tots upgraded to like a 95 rated um but just also on the other hand remember this brother's dribbling is crazy he feels really weak still he does still feel really 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 goddamn weak um but yes these kind of scenarios here i don't have the same option to do the tiki taka pass anymore which is really really annoying actually and he probably isn't a right centre forward after playing like a few games with him already. He's not the best, guys. He he just isn't the best. You know, I I, I like the fact that we can defend with, from the front with him playing in this position. But he he he's essentially a playmaker, right? And that's how you should play with him as a playmaker. But due to the fact he's got um no really good passing. Play styles. What a cross, man. What a corner that was. What a dead ball, honestly. Yeah, but, you know, you know he doesn't have any passing uh, play styles that are any good. So, do, 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 you know, do you know what, guys? Do, do you know what I think his best position probably is? If you're going to do this card, his best position is probably, like, right wing back slash left back. Um, you know, he does, he, do, he, do, he does have some quality, for sure. But... I'm seeing people say this card's ridiculous. I don't, I don't see it, and I don't feel it either. I don't, I don't feel it. Um, you know, he, he just is, isn't the best card in the world. I, I don't know what, to, I don't know what to say about angering people. But that's the way it is. It's a good ball. Ah, let's go to highlights. Good run from Simmons here. He's got nothing on, so we're just going to drive with him. Just going to drive with him and do that, Travella. Yeah, it's a nice goal, guys. It's a nice goal, but I'll be real with you. This card is a little bit underwhelming. Simmons down the line again here. I suppose, you know, that right centre mid roll probably is, you know, I know I said full back, but the right centre mid roll definitely is a position you probably should be using him in. Um, but then again, the lack of passing play styles does certainly hinder the card. And you're kind of put in a bit of limbo where he doesn't really have a position where he absolutely excels in. Wow. Good strength from him there, though. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, he doesn't really... He's just a bit of a a, a mid-card, guys. I, I don't know what else to say. You know, th this game is heavily dependent on play styles. Simmons' play styles are good, but they're also not spectacular, you know? Um, and you are kind of left in a position where this card can play everywhere, but you can't really... It's kind of the jack-of-all-trades, right? That is what I'm trying to say. It's a jack of all trades, master of, of, of none, maybe, other than set pieces, you know. Um, and and that, that, for me, makes the card a little bit, just a little bit mid. A little bit mid. 
Okay, guys, my review is in on Javi Simmons 95 rated, and I know this is going to get a lot of dislikes. I know the review on Barcola didn't do well because I did not rate the card. I don't think this card is bad by any stretch of the imagination. I think he's got two out of four usable playstyle pluses. I think the fact that he doesn't have a lot of passing playstyles, you know, he doesn't have long ball pass, which his team of the season had as a plus, doesn't have ping silver, doesn't have incisive silver, makes him a player that you have to play as a kind of forward. You can't really play him as that right centre mid 4 3 2 1 role because he doesn't have the passing qualities to do it. And Tiki Taka is a bit of a save for him in the attacking areas. Width pass as well is good on him. Um, no defensive play styles, not that you expect them. You know, his defending is the worst part of him. He feels actually like not that weak, but also his body type is quite small and he feels small in game. So he's not going to be barging people off the ball, but he can hold his own to some regard in terms of his physicals. Um, dribbling wise, his dribbling is insane. The dribbling is the best, best thing about this card 100%. The Rapid Plus is good, but I'd rather Quick Step Plus. Travella is absolutely irrelevant. And as we know as well with Dead Ball, it is what you make of it, essentially, right? So, for me, I'm going to play with this card. But I'm not going to play with him where you probably think I would play with him. You know, it's, it's one of them cards which doesn't really have a set way to play with him. Because he just doesn't excel at anything. So, I will put him in my teams moving forward as a right back. On joining the attack and overlap. And that is where I'll get my quality from him. It will be an insanely good right back. Because no right backs have the qualities that this man does have. So good going forward of course. But um, lacks the passing. You know play styles. And it's more about the play styles than it is about the actual stats nowadays. But if you want a all in and out like best dribbler on the game. This is like up there as one of the best dribblers on the game 100%. He's just not really that good at anything he's kind of the jack of all trades master of none you know it's it's one of them types of cards so i don't think he's overpriced i don't think he's that good in game i don't think he's bad in game but he is absolutely categorically your 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 middle of the range card he won't do insane things for you he won't let you down either but he just is there that is my review of Xavi Simmons, guys. I'm going to rate him an 8.5 out of 10. I actually prefer the team of the season just because of the play style pluses the team of the season has got. And I would also urge you, if you've got the team of the season, do not bother going and getting this card. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to play review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.